I welcome you all in this lesson. I am sorry, I am making video after a long time. I couldn't make video because I was working till late night. But uh, I am assuring you that from now onwards, you will be getting my videos on regular basis. So subscribe to my channel if you are new, where uh, you not only learn, but you learn in a fun way. So we will be learning a new lesson today and again I am welcome you all. Right, so what we are going to learn today? So we are going to learn about figures of speech and this is part one of figure of speech. And the first thing we will be learning in figures of speech is simile, right? So, uh, before discussing uh, simile, I want to share uh, two incidents, so uh, which happened recently. So, what happened? I bought a chocolate from the market, and because it's a summer season, it was completely melted. So, what uh, I did? Actually, I put this chocolate in the refrigerator. And next day when I took it out from the refrigerator, refrigerator, it was completely hardened. Right? It was, uh, it was that much hardened that I instantly said to myself, Oh my God, this chocolate is like a rock. It's like a stone. Right? Now the next incident is about my friend. So uh, recently uh, she celebrated her birthday. And she got a beautiful uh, teddy bear, very fluffy, very soft teddy bear as her birthday present. So I, I asked her Ki, what kind of uh, teddy bear it is. So she said that uh, it's, uh, it is as soft as cotton. Right. So uh, if you carefully observe these two incidents, so uh, what we are doing in this? So we are comparing, we are actually comparing one thing with another thing, right? So here also in this example, uh, we compare this teddy bear with this cotton, which is completely different thing. So this comparison using the words like or as is called simile, right? When we say, uh, when we say uh, that the chocolate was, uh, the chocolate was hard like a stone. So this is a simile. This phrase is a simile. When I say the, uh, the teddy bear was as soft as cotton. So this is also a simile, right? Now moving on to the definition of simile. I hope you have understood a little bit about simile. So uh, you can write in the comment box uh, if you have uh, faced, if you were in this kind of incident, right? Simile kind of incident, right? So you can write in the comment box. I'll be happy to uh, see that or read that comments, comments right? Uh, now. What is a simile? So simile is a figure of speech involving comparison of one thing with another thing. Now children keep in mind that simile involves comparison, right? In simile, we need to compare one thing with another thing, right? Of a different kind, used to make a description more vivid or emphatic using words as or like. Now keep in mind that as or like should be there in a simile example. Right? So I hope you have understood uh, about simile. You have understood the definition. You have understood the examples related to it. Right? Now moving on to the examples of similes. So uh, the first example is as cool as cucumber. So here we are comparing uh, some uh, cool thing with cucumber, right? 
so cucumber is you can say is so uh, what does it mean as cool as cucumber it means calm or relaxed when somebody is calm or relaxed we can say that the person is as cool as cucumber uh, we can see the example in the form of sentence so what is that example she was as cool as a cucumber before her presentation because she was well prepared and confident right you can understand that how we are using this simile we are using this simile in the form of sentence here it is written that she was as cool as cucumber before her presentation because she was well prepared that means she was very calm she was very relaxed and she was very confident right so it is the meaning of simile so i just want to ask that have you ever used this kind of phrase in your uh, in your life and if you want to use it how you are going to use it do write in the comment box and if you have a uh, other examples please write it i just want to read all your comments comments i'm sorry so uh, let's see the uh, next example as tall as giraffe now what does it mean that somebody is very tall right when someone is very tall uh, we say that the person is as tall as giraffe it's it's not very difficult right we can understand giraffe is i believe tallest animal yes you can see that uh, how tall it is you must have seen in the discovery or uh, national geographic channel right so it is very tall and the sentence uh, we have formed here everybody was looking at him because he was as tall as giraffe so this is the way we use it now children this is the story time and i have created i have made this story in a very short span of time so if you like this story do this video a big thumbs up like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so uh, this is the story related to a girl so i'm going to first we'll going to uh, we will be reading the story and what is our task a task is to find out the similes over there right how many similes are there and we just have to find it out so once upon a time there was a girl she was beautiful like a rose her hair was as shiny as gold her eyes were as brown as chocolate one night she went to a forest to find her lost diamond earrings the night was dark like black coal she started looking here and there for her earrings but couldn't find it suddenly she saw something very shiny she went closer to that thing and picked up that thing voila i got my earrings she said to herself the earrings were as shiny as sun she was as happy as a baby now children i have read the story and i think you also have read the story now as i told you what is our task a task is to find out the simile so uh, before i before i can uh, uh, talk about the answer before i can uh, tell you the similes in this story uh, you have to write the similes in the in the story in the comment bo box you have to answer before me so if you can do go ahead and write your answer so first one is uh, beautiful like rose so we are comparing the beauty of that girl with the Uh, this flower rose which is a very beautiful flower now her hair was as shiny as gold so here also we are comparing her hair with gold her eyes were as brown as chocolate so eyes we are comparing with chocolate this is also a simile 
Now, uh, in the in the second para, she went to a forest. I think no simile is there. Then in this line, the night was dark like black color. So what we are doing is it a simile? Yes, it is. So here we are comparing night with the color black. So this is also a simile. And just look at this uh, word. Uh, the word like is written. So as I told you in simile, uh, you always have to use uh, as or like, right? Then only we can say that uh, the comparison between two things is a simile. So now she started looking here. Uh, she 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 started looking here and there for her earrings, but couldn't find it. I think no simile is there. Suddenly she saw something shiny. She went closer to that thing and picked up that thing. Voila, I got my earrings, she said to herself. The earrings were as shiny as sun. Is it a simile? Yes, it is. She was as happy as a baby. We have found one more simile. Right, so this was the story. I hope you have liked it. And uh, if you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That will motivate me. Now, here I have prepared a task for you. There is an, uh, this is an, another task. So can you think of more similes? Here is a teddy bear. So uh, it's a kind of fill up, right? You have to uh, write a word in this blank. So as dash as teddy bear. So you can write, you can write any word but uh, the the whole phrase should actually uh, give a meaning uh, right the the phrase should have a proper meaning so uh, i'm just giving you an example you can write uh, any word related to this so as soft as teddy bear you can write or you can write another word as well as dash as pencil what you can write over here so just think about you or just think about it and um, I, I can say that as sharp as pencil or as thin as pencil or it can be a different uh, word now in this example just think about it and uh, what you can write and how you can complete this phrase so this was all about uh, this lesson I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and if you have enjoyed do give it a big thumbs up comment in the comment uh, section below and subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family members and uh, keep learning keep enjoying I'll be posting very fun videos and uh, gaming uh, you know uh, educational games videos so subscribe to never miss an update from my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.